and waiting for your profits. Just go. Uh -huh. You can see it's getting a little bit more now. Hi guys, my name is Anna. I'm still right here. Uh, we're gonna be trading today, testing the strategies, complaining, whining, I don't know, celebrating. We're gonna be having, I feel like it, all the bunch of emotions. And anyway, get some results out there. So let us trade today. And we're not gonna be picking up today the currency pairs. We're gonna be picking up the stocks. I must say there is not a big difference actually, and you cannot see it just inside of it. But I got some question if I've been using that. Of course, I think all this, you know, the meaning and the principles are just kind of the same. At least not a, you know, you don't need to be <laughs> educated differently by using it. Okay, rate of change and Calvin channel. That's the pair. That's the pair. And a candle is gonna be for the 10 seconds. And that's the difference. So in all of these changes that I'm making, not even numbers like seven or eight are important, but the period of the candles, the period of the trading. The period of the trading is kind of the same, you know, that it's one minute is my golden standard, but Mm, candles you can see it easily you can just put it right here 30 seconds or 15 seconds and you may see how actually that's different so rate of change Kelton channel looking for some combination obviously uh, yeah that's maybe not gonna be that easy because two indicators in that type of indicators is a little bit like lack of information but we're gonna be handle that plus we have the chart the experience the intuition and maybe that's gonna be oh, look at that <laughs> um i must say that just right there when we were preparing all of that on that chart that it was so easy like it's gonna be combined the one is just repeating after another i mean the calton channel and the line of the bit of change but if i'm being honest right here we can see a little bit different picture and um, I would be lying if I say that it's going to be, you know, like the same as it's going to be moving average, for example, in the rate of change. Because Keltner channel can do that. It can get smaller to give us just, you know, to give us a sign, a firm, I don't know how to say that, like a sign <laughs> that we're going to be changing. Because when it's getting a little bit, even a little bit, but noticeable, you know, how to say that, but visibly more narrow we do expect right after that's going to be the change in in many this channel type indicators it's kind of more obvious but that's the tendency for the Calvin channel too it's not that obvious that's true I'm not gonna be lying but at some you know if you are so close and so attentive to it tiny changes you can you can catch that I gotta say, I'm getting too emotional sometimes. <laughs> Just to prove some indicators right and were wrong. And I'm here like, I hate this strategy. I hate this type of channel um, indicators. But I'm just gonna be right here sitting and trying to prove it's gonna be fine. What about this type of situation? Look at this calendar channel. What signs, man? What signs do you give to us? Can we read the signs? I must say for the tiny prediction, the indicator can be useful. But of course, how out of this indicator we can predict what's going to be in a minute? The answer, we cannot. <laughs> this is no way for that to be so clear. And of course, you can, you know, distance all the line from this indicator, like the green line, all to oranges, to see if one is opening, another is closing, and that matters, that's helping. Please just go. Yes. And rate of change right here gave us the perfect picture. Mm, but rate of change does not repeat the whole chart, you know, movement, and that's why it's a little bit more complicated to compare that with what's going on on the chart. 
actually, I'm getting too emotional this tray. I don't know why. Maybe too much coffee. Maybe I need to drink some water just in a break. Just, you know, to, <laughs> to reduce the amount of the caffeine in my blood. And uh, that's kind of obvious. Here, I gotta tell you that it was kind of obvious, and you can see that pattern. Keltner channel is a little bit make it that harder to see what's going on with the chart because sometimes all graphics, you know, like, it's really not helpful. And right here we were just at the peak and we went downward and the rate of change and now, only now, Keltner Channel just doubling that impression. But maybe even in the beginning, in the middle, you know, of your own bad, to see some proofs that you're correct and you can just you know, sit just like that, you know, and dreaming and thinking and waiting for your profit to come is also a nice thing to have. Okay, what is that? That's the profit. That was an easy one. Oh, look at this huge chart. Of course, I've been looking at that closely and my decision is not about <laughs> looking at that only from the distance right here I just do look at this skeleton channel it's a little bit a little bit a little bit look now it's getting wider but before it was more narrow and I must say this is not like a 100% you know like a sign it's getting firstly a little bit more narrow and then wider that's it just remember that and we were at the peak and rate of change for adopting that expression. So, of course, in the perfect world, we are looking for these two indicators to give us the same, the same answers. The question what's gonna be in the next 60 seconds. We are at the peak, and if we, if we start to rise and we start it, uh -huh, you can see it's getting a little bit more narrow than a little bit wider, like it is. Sometimes it disappears. So you need to be closely just right here the Calhoun channel to check what's going on right now because it's getting like that, then like that, but then on the chart you don't see that. It's getting just normal. Yep, that type of strategy is just like that. Can you imagine if you would add just the MACD and we doesn't need to look at this Calhoun channel closely? Okay, I'm not gonna be complaining. I'm not going to be too emotional. I'm not going to be offering MACD anymore. So this is the one bet left. And I think it's going to be easy. That's it. Mm, that's the peak. We already started to detect some tiny, tiny changes. And weren't candles so I couldn't say the radio change gave me like the 100% but it's kind of nice nice signal that we're gonna get back I mean downward but right here uh, it was a long trend and that's risky and I didn't risk you know to go a little bit in advance because that could be also this plato situation you can see that before we had this like the patterns of just switching up the candles and that's it and that's the risk. And maybe that heel is about to be like that. Please don't. Please don't. Thank God. Oh my God, we just done with that strategy. That was exhausting. Okay, that's it. That's it. And um, honestly, in many, many situations, I, <laughs> I just put myself right. As you started, you know, like, oh, it's going to be crazy. And that's how you ended. That's how it was, you know, in the middle of the process. So be optimistic. That's the advice. And get your tradings on your positive energy.